Ventilator-induced diaphragm dysfunction. Those are the patients that will benefit the most from this device. So tell me specifically about what that is. So this is a condition that's actually brought on by the ventilator. It's not a naturally occurring disease that's happening. And this is a new field. Within the last 10, 15, 20 years, clinicians are starting to identify that this is one of the reasons why patients are having a hard time weaning off the ventilator. This is why we're trying to go after rehabilitating the diaphragm before it uh, degrades too, too quickly. And that usually happens within three days. Within three days, 50% of a patient's muscle mass is gone. Wow. And so once these patients are ready to be weaned off the ventilator, they actually can't physically breathe on their own. Obviously the patient needs to have an opportunity to get better. So for terminal illnesses like ALS, for instance, is that something that you could use your device? Yeah, so any, any disease state or pathology that requires ventilatory support, this device could potentially have a role. Every year, approximately 1.6 million patients in the U.S. require intubation for mechanical ventilation. Globally, more than 13 million patients need this medical intervention. With the ever-evolving COVID situation, these numbers are even higher. Our focus is on those patients that require long-term ventilatory support, that they're on the machine for more than three days in the ICU. So they're critically ill, they have an underlying disease or pathology that they're trying to overcome, and we're there to support that weaning period. So when they come off the ventilator, they're ready to go. So there's not this additional time when they're in the hospital and additional time when they're on the respirator. Once their disease has been alleviated, they can remove the DT tube and go back to work. We expect ventilation to, to be you know, increasing in need as our patient population gets older. Um, and you know, there's always gonna be diseases, respiratory diseases. So it's gonna be a need that's gonna be around for a really long time. To learn more about XN Health, visit the Heartbeat section of our website.